Go, 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 let's get it I'm a trapping fanatic, that shit automatic So I cannot turn it on or off okay. Bitches all on my dick, then she hop on my dick I'm like, why you keep hopping on and off? Yo, bitch all on my dick, she be doing the most I tell her little bitch, so extra Am my gun up on me, but I run up on me Niggas, they wanna fight, they some wrestlers Naruto wakes up the next morning and meets with his team. This is where they go to take the written exams, and they do pass it. Next was the Forest of Death. After the rules have been explained to the teams, Team 7 waits to get their scroll. Soon, they head into the forest and Naruto wonders what kind of teams they'll encounter here. Sasuke has to stop them, as this way they can make a plan. They stand on a large tree branch, thinking of something to do, and the plan starts with a password that each of them has to remember. Sasuke states that they also just need to get the scroll and head right for the tower. Sakura would agree. There's no point to waste our energy. And Naruto would also nod, saying this isn't a bad plan at all. You two stay here. I'm going out to scout. Naruto creates several clones that all scatter in different directions, along with himself as well. Minutes begin to pass. And so Sasuke turns his head, seeing one of the clones appear. Sakura goes to ask Naruto what happened, but Sasuke stops her. Wait a minute, Sakura. Hey, Naruto, what's the password? He recites it perfectly, and Sasuke lowers his guard, letting Naruto get even closer. Sasuke then quickly stabs him in the shoulder with an instant chidori. Naruto screams, jumping back. What the heck, Sasuke? Sakura also questions him. Sakura, tell me something. Anytime Naruto is with us, can you feel his presence? No. Now that you mention it, I can't. And for this Naruto, I can. I see what you're saying. So he's not Naruto. Yeah, exactly. So let's take him down. Not half bad for just the two of you. Orochimaru reveals himself from the disguise and attacks the two Ginning. Sasuke pushes Sakura out of the way in order to block the first attack. How noble of you, Sasuke, saving a teammate. As he says this, he's hit with a water jutsu that sends him crashing into a tree. Fire style, fireball jutsu. Orochimaru is forced to dodge this attack and rushes back in quickly. He knows he has to leave the curse mark before he's found out in the leaf village. He stretches his body towards the young Uchiha only for light spears to now pierce his own. Sakura begins to smile. Naruto, you made it. This is where we see him step from a light wall. Of course I did. Is this the right one, Sasuke? He tosses a scroll over to his teammate who looks at it and nods. Not bad, you sneaky idiot. Naruto then smiles, tilting his head back to Orochimaru. Why? Why can't I move? This Keke Genkai. It's not in my research. I, I must have it. It's stronger than that of even Kimimaru. Naruto walks over, patting him on the face. Looks like I caught you off guard. Some shinobi you are. Naruto then slaps him in the face, sending Orochimaru skidding on the ground. Naruto snaps his fingers, shattering the light spears. Orochimaru tries to regenerate his body, only for nothing to happen. No, that's impossible. I see, so you have some pretty unique techniques as well. Not paying attention, Orochimaru is kicked in the face by Sasuke. While he's in a daze, Sakura slaps multiple explosive tags on his chest. She flips away as the explosions begin to go off, but she's caught by Naruto and Sasuke. Team 7 regroups here and looks towards the beaten Orochimaru. It's not as if they were stronger than him, but Naruto's light attacks gave them such an advantage in this battle. Sasuke begins to walk towards him to finish him off only to be caught off guard. Orochimaru spits out a new body and bites the neck of Sasuke. He dashes away quickly, with Sakura running right to the side of Sasuke. Are you okay? What happened? Naruto leaves Sakura to take care of Sasuke, and he chases after Orochimaru. Orochimaru begins his inner monologue here. Good thing I left the curse mark on him. He will seek out my power very soon. He then somehow gets his body to regenerate even better. So, he was basically in full condition as he watches Naruto step from a tree that was right in front of him, this time a sword in his hand. Why don't we finish things here? Orochimaru summons his own blade and then steps towards Naruto. 
the two engage in a short skirmish where Naruto isn't able to best Orochimaru at all. He's super strong by this point, but not Sanin strong. He decides he can't hold back here at all. His eyes begin glowing yellow, and a message from the system would also appear. Hikari mode is now active. We will remain active for the next 30 seconds. After, body will receive an immense aftershock from the usage. So that's all the time I have. Then I'll use it to my advantage. Orochimaru swings his blade, but Naruto vanished. That speed. It's... It's amazing. But just where will you come from? Maybe to my left. Or even my right. No. Shinobi like to strike from behind. It's always in their nature. But no. Your scent. It's different from that of most Shinobi. All I can feel from you is arrogance. You'll come from above. Orochimaru turns his head, dodging the blade of Naruto, and grabs him by the throat. Die. He crushes the neck of Naruto, only for him to poof and smoke. Naruto is then seen running towards Orochimaru, with his blade covered in a sharp light. It's reminiscent to the blade seen from future trunks. Just yellow. He pushes it through the torso of Orochimaru, causing him to cough up blood. Orochimaru is able to stay standing and looks down at Naruto. He sees him coughing up blood as well and goes to attack him. Naruto has enough strength just to jump back, and this is when his body leaks more blood. Now is my chance. Orochimaru attacks him one final time, only for light spears to invade his joints. They expand from the inside of his body and nail him to the ground. Orochimaru watches as Naruto slowly begins to walk back, with his body still glowing that bright yellow, but it's slowly fading in and out of that power. Just what is he? Orochimaru begins cursing the boy before he's found by Kabuto. Naruto keeps walking and eventually the power vanishes from his body and he passes out from exhaustion, falling to the ground hard, barely with a win from this battle. This power did bring him to the level of Sanin, but it was only for a few seconds and it's going to cost him big time here. He's found by Sakura. And she slowly tries to stop the bleeding deep within his own subconscious. He would see someone. Who are you? A black-haired being turns to Naruto. Seek even more power. It's the only way to protect those you truly care about. Naruto wakes up in a cold sweat under a small tent that was handmade. He has bandages over his abdomen and lower body. Damn, looks like I overdid it. System, status. Naruto looks at his health to see that it was below the average and the halfway point. His chakra reserves were even lower than that. Damn it. Hikari mode is more draining than I thought. Just what is this power gifted to me by that rune? <sighs> I don't have any skill points to put in my vitality to speed up my recovery either. Naruto stands as some of his wounds begin to open, as you can see it through his white bandages that become red. This is just great. He then hears the screams of Sakura, and he grabs his katana that was by his side and begins running in that direction, even though he was moving slower than he ever did before. He arrives to see Sakura being held hostage, and she's forced to cut her own hair, but after she does so, she stabs a kunai into the girl's leg before kicking her in the stomach, sending her back. She weaves hand signs quickly, water style, giant wave, as she shoots out this wave of water that crashes down on the grass shinobi who jump into the trees above as they sit on the branches looking down at Sakura and the injured shinobi that just joined her. They feel a great darkness. One of them turns, seeing Sasuke with the Sharingan and the curse mark active. Since it didn't reawaken in the land of waves, it does so now. Sasuke appears in front of one of them, punching them in the stomach. Another tries to attack him, but he evades easily, kicking him in the chest, sending him to another branch. Sasuke slowly begins walking towards a girl that attacks Sakura. As she slowly backs up in fear, not knowing what to do, she begins to panic, questioning if someone would even come save her. No, 
A person like her, who works for someone like him, as she thinks of Orochimaru, doesn't deserve saving. Sakura on the ground looks at Naruto, who had his arm around her as she was helping him stand. Should we stop him? No, I don't think so. Why not? Well, the person who we're attacking. Sasuke is the strongest right now. So even if more people were to show up, we'd be under his protection. So there's no point to stop this power that he has. If anything, it'll help us more than it'll hurt us. Well, that's what I hope at least. Sakura wanted to question, but looking at Naruto, she could tell that he was weakened from his last battle. What could he have done after he ran off? There's no way he could have fought that person alone. Naruto was more focused on Sasuke as he had knocked all of them out already and had broken an arm on each of them. Sasuke jumps down towards his team and looks to Naruto. How about that rematch? Maybe when I fully recover, we can. No. Fight me right now. If you call yourself a shinobi, you should be able to fight me in any condition. Sasuke throws a punch that's barely dodged by Naruto. A kick is seen coming his way as he has to block it as well. See, you're fine. Now stop complaining and fight me, Naruto. Sasuke pushes Naruto back, causing even more of his wounds to open as Naruto's forced to grit his teeth and hang in there just a little longer. His bandages soon fully become red as he blocks multiple attacks from Sasuke. Sakura jumps in the battle, trying to attack Sasuke, but thanks to the Sharingan, he sees right through it as he grabs her by the neck and slams her to the ground. This causes Naruto, or something in him, to snap. While barely standing, he appears in the realm of the Ninetales for the first time. You see, when I spoke of Naruto's use of the Kyuubi's chakra, that was Kurama intervening without Naruto even knowing. The two then stare at each other with Kurama noticing something was off about Naruto. There was something truly terrifying lying deep within him. There was a complete darkness residing in the boy. Where am I? You have entered my domain. You must be in pursuit of power. Yeah, I am. Tell me, can you heal my injuries? Of course I can. But why should I? Because if you become my ally, I'll become even stronger. And so will you. Ally, don't make me laugh. I rank far above you in this world. Naruto then turns away. That's fine. If you don't want to help me, I'll fight him on my own. I can defeat him with my own power. Kurama scoffs, telling Naruto that he'll die here. And Naruto turns back to him. Well, if you're connected to me, that means you'll die too. Naruto wakes up, seeing Sasuke turn to him once again. Naruto somehow gets the strength to dash in as he creates a thick smoke screen. He grabs Sakura's body and gets far away. He lays her down, but then turns, seeing Sasuke fighting his clone. So he attacks once again. Light spears somehow rush in towards Sasuke, but these ones were much slower than any of the ones that Naruto had ever used before, allowing Sasuke to evade while smiling at that. Sasuke creates a Chidori, and he does it like it's nothing. There was barely any charge up time to it. He attacks Naruto. Naruto creates a light barrier to stop the attack, but it's shattered. You cannot stop me, Naruto. Sasuke goes to finish Naruto off. But this is where a slim, orange chakra begins to surround his body. Naruto used the shattering roar to send Sasuke crashing into the trees behind him. This was enough to completely knock the curse mark's power off of him. Naruto, well... Not Naruto, but the system alerts Naruto that the Kyuubi's chakra has leveled up and Naruto thanks the fox before looking towards Sasuke to see that he reverted to his normal state. Naruto creates clones that carry both Sakura and Sasuke with him to the tower. They make it just in time and are congratulated by Aruka sensei after is where Naruto goes to Kakashi to get his wounds patched up, as he also suppresses the curse mark on Sasuke and he makes sure Sakura is okay as well. 
although her injuries were far less than the others. Just what happened in the forest? Naruto, while laying against the wall, comments how they fought off some person named Orochimaru. Kakashi's eyes widen at this realization. No. There's no way. They should all be dead. They couldn't have killed him. Naruto could see that his sensei was stressing out over this thought, so he spoke to him. Relax, sensei. We didn't kill him. And we didn't win the battle either. But we managed to injure him pretty badly, although it did cost me. I used the power that I was storing up for some time, and it had some major drawbacks. So, how do you think you'll do in the next part of the tuning exams? I think I'll be fine. I'd say right now, I'm at about half my original strength. But that should be enough to win at least one or two battles to prove my strength. Kakashi nods, wishing them luck, as something else will be announced very soon. The preliminary matches are announced soon after, and the matches are revealed. Sasuke's fight goes relatively the same with him overpowering his opponent. Sakura and Ino will jump down next, into the center, soon after. Ino believes they were on equal terms, but Sakura far outclassed her here. The fight began, and Sakura rushed, shocking Ino. I didn't expect her to go instantly into taijutsu. Well, I'll just block it. A fist is then slammed into her stomach before she even knew it. What? A flurry of strikes then follow suit. I may be weaker than Naruto, and even you, Sasuke, but I'm still strong. Sakura kicks her in the chest, propelling her back, and as she looked back up at her, a wave of water crashed down on her, slamming her against the wall. Ino kneeled to the ground, and Sakura was given the win. Naruto and Sasuke smile at each other, knowing that she would win the battle, as it was pretty obvious to them. A couple more battles happen until the last battle of the prelims, which is Naruto versus Kiba. Kiba says that he's going to fight for Hinata. And first, he has to beat Naruto, and then Neji. Naruto scoffs while jumping into the arena. His blade was at his side, and he was ready. Kiba and Akamaru begin the battle, spinning towards Naruto. He dodges their attacks but mostly stays on the defensive. It was clear. He was still facing his injuries from the Forest of Death, and Kiba was taking full advantage of that. The other Ginning began to speak ill of Naruto, which actually agitates his team. But before any of them could speak up, Shikamaru walked over to the railing. What are you waiting for, Naruto? Didn't you make a promise to come back to the Leaf even stronger? So show me. Show me the strength that you obtained by leaving. Naruto turns his head to Shikamaru, causing him to be sent into the stadium walls. Sakura tells Shikamaru, Well, she didn't expect someone else to get riled up from this as well. Don't even start with him. It's such a drag to speak out like that, especially with so many people watching. Shikamaru then turns, noticing the old man noticed him as well, as he goes back to leaning against the wall, looking down at the battle. Kiba thinks he's won. But all we see is Naruto slowly get up, cracking his neck, with some of his bandages beginning to leak blood. The proctor for this part of the exams would ask if he's okay, and Naruto says he expected this to happen, so he'll continue the battle. The proctor nods, telling Naruto that if it looks too bad, he will step in. You won't have to worry about that. Naruto then thinks. That's right. That's right, Shikamaru. I made a promise to you that I can't go back on. I'll honor my words until death, as that is my ninja way. Naruto speeds in front of Kiba, punching him in the face. Thanks, Shikamaru. I owe you one. Naruto holds out his blade and then watches as Kiba gets back up. That's nothing. Fang over fang. As he uses it, a large smoke screen covers the entire arena and stays there for quite some time. Many wonder what's going on, as the Hyuga in attendance were able to see the battle. It was shocking, truly. Soon, everyone sees Naruto step from the smokescreen holding his blade while also smirking. It then slowly disappears as it revealed Kiba and Akamaru were knocked out on the ground bleeding and Naruto was given the win. He smiles towards his team as they knew he could do it, but he had to push himself a little bit harder than he was used to. The Hokage would announce that each Genin that passed this part of the exams will give a month to train before 
the rest of the matches continue, as each of them would leave the arena. Naruto takes this as an opportunity for him to use another instant key to go to a dungeon. The system itself also changed more and updated itself to the language to fit the criteria for the shinobi world. This was a jonin level dungeon. Naruto goes home and decides to train on his own before he would enter, and he has to recover as well. Sakura and Sasuke train with Kakashi, but Naruto has his own training that he does with Konohamaru. They mostly sparred and worked on chakra control, but this was good for both of them, no matter how trivial it may seem. Konohamaru gains more strength and experience while with Naruto, while Naruto was more focused on being effective while even not at his strongest. He minimalizes his use with light release, increasing his chakra control with it, and he becomes more familiar with fighting while holding his katana. It becomes almost second nature to Naruto, but he knows what he's aiming for. That old man from before. I need to reach his level of strength with the blade. I can remember that feeling I got while watching him. It was astonishing. The power from just one slice felt like it could cut through anything, maybe even a mountain. That's the power I need to become the Hokage. Naruto and Konohamaru train with one another for almost two weeks. Each of them becomes increasingly stronger, and by the time that Naruto is fully recovered from using the Hikari form, he tells Konohamaru that he's going somewhere, and to keep training. His pupil wanted to question this, but something felt off. Odd, even. Naruto, that night, then opens the Jonin rank instant dungeon. He steps through the gate, only for the color to change upon his entry. It wasn't red, no. The color actually changed to white, which was strange, as it had never been seen before like this. Naruto arrives into a new area. This was very different from anywhere he's ever been before. Where was he? Naruto looks down, realizing he was on a mountain, looking down at what seemed to be like some sort of village. The system displays a message to him. Now in Sora Gakure, a village hidden in the skies. Defeat dungeon boss and receive immense rewards. Naruto pulls out his blade and his blue eyes illuminate within the moonlight. Quickly, he senses something and blocks the arrows with his blade. So, you all were waiting on me. Good. It's been a while since I've been let... let loose. I won't use the Hikari form here, as I believe it'll just lead me to more injuries. I'll rely on my own base strength first. Naruto thinks back to his battle with the Rochimaru, and how he could barely keep up at all. I'll make sure the next time we meet, I send him flying back with just a single strike. This is where we see Naruto rush forward towards the archers with a smile on his face. Twenty minutes had passed, as he's seen sitting down surrounded by thirty dead bodies at least. Not bad. Let's see what I have now. Before Naruto can check his status, he has to block the blade of what seemed to be like a samurai. Wait a minute. Naruto swings his blade, but then the attack is countered. More arrows are then sent right at him. Naruto creates a smoke screen to dodge this and rushes in at the samurai. To Naruto's shock, he was blocking without even looking towards Naruto. Impressive. But I'm no samurai. Naruto flips into the air and he stands on top of some rocks creating light spears. This is when more arrows would come at him and he has to dodge. He noticed there was no footing for where he was going to land, so he improvises. This is the first time he's actually done so, but he seemed, well, he believed he could do it, so he tried. He was now standing on one of his own light spears. The system then displays a new message. Damn, there's a time limit here as well? Wait a minute, what's this? A class will be rewarded, based on the points I collect here. Naruto, after finishing off the warriors in this area, heads down in the Sora Gakure, heading through the gate. Arrows of flame then rain down towards him, and he swings his blade to cut through each of them. Multiple samurai appear as he's forced to use the multi-shadow clone jutsu. A gruesome war takes place here. This is where Naruto realizes his sword won't be enough as he takes one of the samurai's blades 
which seemed to be more hardened through some sort of black material. He cuts through each of them, one after the other. Naruto regains his confidence here. With his strength returning, he feels more like himself. The system provided him with so much security, so much power, so much potential to reach his goals, and he loved every minute of it. Naruto noticed that these warriors that he were facing, they were different. They had abilities, but it wasn't as if they were using chakra. It seemed different in a way, as they could enhance themselves with an unknown energy. This increased their strength and speed during battle. Naruto was forced to show off different forms of his own power, as this all led to his victory. He lays on his back, watching the clones, then vanish from the area as he reads a message. All the monsters in the area have been slain. The quest will end now. Good. I can head back and finish up training with Konohamaru. Let's see here. A job will be granted after the player's actions have been assessed. Naruto lays back waiting for it to happen. Based on what I know about this power that I gained from the forest, this system, I should be able to get a job that would suit me. I feel like I'm more of an animal-like warrior who fights on instincts. So what kind of power would best, no, what job would best complement that? Maybe a beast warrior? No, that sounds too corny. What name would it give? As Naruto waits, a new display message appears to Naruto. Wherever the player goes, death will follow soon. Battle after battle, the player has shown the strength to fight for his desires. A power like this has already been bestowed to another before. Wait, there's someone else like me? Naruto then gets flashbacks to when he saw that black-haired person. Could that be the person? He didn't even get to see his face. He only saw that purple glow. A new message then pops up in front of Naruto. Unlike the other player, you have a great sense of camaraderie and wish for others around you to also gain strength. You lead by example, no matter how difficult the task. The power you wish for is one that will make you and your allies become stronger. Commanding the army of the dead will allow you to do so. Wait, the army of the dead? Your job is a necromancer. Naruto stares on at the screen in disbelief at what he was seeing. Will you accept your job? I guess I have no choice then. It could be fun. I accept. Naruto, well, as he accepts, the job screen, it morphs. Something happens. The screen in front of him, it begins to rapidly glitch out and change. But it also begins to glow a, a bright yellow-like and whitish aura. It was changing and a new job. It felt like a new job was appearing and being bestowed on Naruto. He just didn't know what it was. As this power flows through the body of Naruto, a dark smoke illuminates his body until a new screen pops up on him. He then reads it. You will be promoted from Necromancer to Celestial Lord. Uh, a title upgrade. Was it because of the level that I already obtained before getting the class? Naruto then turns to the dead, looking around, focusing on the bodies that laid around him. Divine extraction can be used on these targets. So these dead bodies will become the army of the dead? Oh, that's interesting. The system then tells him something. The army of the dead is no longer accessible to you. What? I thought that was the whole point of being a necromancer. The army of the dead will now be known as the Celestial Army. Naruto sighs, saying that was a close one as he thought he wouldn't get the ability at all. Then, one more screen finally pops up. I need a command phrase. Okay then. Arise. Naruto begins glowing, and from the bodies, white and yellow armored samurai stand once again and surround Naruto as they begin kneeling.
Naruto focused forward, smirking. Not what I was expecting. Maybe it's due to my class upgrade. Celestial Lord. Almost makes me sound like some sort of god. Naruto walks over to one of the samurai. So I can save only 20 of you. Alright. I'll take five archers. The rest samurai. As for the rest of you, you may rest, honorable warriors. As Naruto thinks about leaving, a new quest pops up. Dungeon boss has now arrived. Defeat Igris, the Shogun Samurai. Naruto turns, stopping his celestial soldiers from taking place in this battle. I'll handle this on my own. Naruto picks up a blade and begins walking towards Igris, who gets off of a horse. You must be stronger than them. I am. This causes Naruto to smirk, realizing he must be just like that king from before. If I win this battle, you will lead my army. Igris stares down at Naruto and swings his blade, testing him. This sends dirt and snow all over the area, but to the shock of the Shogun. Naruto blocked the attack. The two then lock eyes as their epic battle commences.